I'm a Gandhian in lots of ways, in lots of ways, in lots of ways, in lots of ways. But we were attacked, but I did not want to fight. Uh, we captured some Taliban, and I told my people, I said, we must let them go back to their homes, and we must not fire at them. That you went, you then got, from that point, you went back and got a motorbike? What was the story? No, <clears throat> the motorbike was two days before that. From Pakistan into Afghanistan, we were six people on uh, three motorbikes. We entered the Afghan territory secretly, but on the main road, and went into Afghanistan, went into Kandahar, spent the night in one house. The gentleman from that household is right now with me here. And then into, into another house, and then the next day we went uh, towards central Afghanistan in a taxi. And Sooner or later, the Taliban le learnt that you were there. Yes. And began to try and hunt you down. Yes. Describe that. Oh. Uh, well, uh, we knew they were going to come after us one day or the other, together with their um, uh, uh, troops from Pakistan and, and, and some Arab elements that were there with them as well. But they could not come to attack us in the villages. And... Uh, uh, Eventually they did, but, but by that time we had already been in the, in the middle of uh, the mountainous area of the country, in mountains. And uh, well, that's a long story. I mean, you want to tell the whole thing? Give a little bit about the, 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 the time that uh, the, the man, you were starving, the man fed you, the Taliban. That, that's my favorite of those stories. Oh, that story. Now, are you sure these young people want to see hear sad stories or, or do you want to have, hear happy stories? That one too? Sad ones. Okay. Happy ones? All the ones. Okay. We were in a mountain. We were attacked. I'm a Gandhian in lots of ways. In lots of ways. In lots of ways. In lots of ways. But we were attacked, but I did not want to fight. Uh, we captured some Taliban, and I told my people, I said, we must let them go back to their homes, and we must not fire at them. So the only alternative for us was to, to not fight and to abandon the place. And that's what we did. We were 150 people or so, and I asked everyone to go back to their villages, and 11 of us, 12 of us, we went towards a destination far away, uh, God knows, 50, 60, 80 kilometers. On foot, in on the foot, mountains. On foot, on foot, entirely. After 36 hours or so of walking on foot, we arrived in a place, uh, a little hut, and we saw a farmer with a shovel on his, on his shoulders, came close to us, and he kind of recognized us because you could hear he was listening to the radios and to the news, recognized us as to who we were and who I was. He fed us. It was about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And then we moved on into another district. In the middle of the night, we could not find room there. So we came back the entire distance by 7 the next morning after about, God knows, over 40, 45 hours of walking. We were back in the same place. And this man fed us again and told us, don't go in that direction. You may be caught by the Taliban forces. Go into the mountainous areas and fed us and gave us badams and bread and everything. And we went there. And uh, within four or four, five hours of our departure, the Taliban had come, had beaten him, but he did not confess that we were in his house. And he said he doesn't know who we were. And, and, and that's, how, that's, how, that's how we were saved. But the interesting part is, when I became the president of the country within 20 days of that event or within a month of that event, I sent him a message to come to see me in Kabul. He didn't care. He said, you are the king now. I don't want to come and see you there. <laughs> he didn't come. He stayed in his village. He stayed in his farm. And only after a year when I visited that province and I sent him a message again, I said, now I'm in your province. Now do come and see me. Then he came for a breakfast. 
and very carelessly said, how are you? I said, I'm good. <laughs> and a <laughs> lovely man that was. <laughs> That's how the story is. If you've enjoyed the conversation that you just heard, do subscribe to our channel for much more.